Yo, what's up everybody? Japing here checking in, respectmyregion.com. We're here coming at you guys live from the floor of the exhibit area at the 2023 Benzinga Capital Conference. This ep interview brought to you guys by Trees. I'm here with Brett Gelfand. Nailed it. Got it. Cannabis Collects, managing partner. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. I Happy to be here. I appreciate you being here, man. And most importantly, I appreciate you guys bringing some of this cash because you guys are all about helping people get their money back, right? You grow your green, we collect it. Come on, man. It's really as simple as that. Talk to me a little bit about Cannabis Collects and what you guys do. Sure. I mean, we've been around since 2017. I previously previously used to run a cannabis company out in Colorado. Okay. One of the biggest issues was collecting money after delivering product to a dispensary. I'm sure you guys have been on LinkedIn and seeing the posts and seeing the buzz around debt and collection issues. Wow. Terms. 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 Terms are, are the death of the industry right now. And I kind of saw that coming back in 2017. And as we see it today, we're working hard to help our, our clients collect money, mm -hmm. but also help educate better credit and collection sta standards and practices. So this issue kind of gets resolved over time in this industry. So it's a never ending problem, right? We grow the weed, we buy weed, we sell it. We have to extend terms. Otherwise it's like, you know, how do you get on some of these accounts, right? How do you earn some of the business? It's not easy. Can you talk to me a little bit about just at scale, the, the amount of money that's being loaned to these retailers through their product right now? Right. I can tell you, obviously we know the issues with banking. So just because of that, sales reps and managers are having to make decisions of basically being a bank. When you're giving terms, you are acting as a bank. The problem is, because of the youth of the industry and sometimes the unsophistication of the industry, mm -hmm. we're just giving out terms without really doing the proper underwriting or having the proper contract. We're not checking in. We're not checking the street cred. Nothing. We're not checking any street cred. We're just trying to get that sale, but that sale means nothing if you're not getting cash in the bank. It's literally dead, de a dead sale. It's this balance of I just drove three hours for this delivery and now they're switching the terms on me. What do we do? Right? Without cash in the bank. Yep. So, so talk to me about specifically what does Cannabis Collects do to help in that situation? So Cannabis Collects will receive a claim from one of our clients that can submit it on our website, on our portal. And we start sending demand letters, text messages, and we utilize the data that we have, which to answer your previous question, we've got close to $95 million of debt processed through our firm alone. Wow. Since 2017, that's about 5,000 different debtor claims that have been processed through our agency, which just means the the amount of debt being circulated in this industry through trade credit is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and worse. It's just ballooning. Ballooning. So we look through our debtor database and we find out if we have contacts or any contact information against those debtors in order to make the proper contact, in order to negotiate for our clients to get a workout settlement or get our clients paid. And if we're not able to, we can then escalate to our associate counsel of attorneys to, to litigate and, and file a lawsuit against these companies. So you guys got to think like, you, you need a team at the end of the day. You got to have people calling. You got to have the contacts to happen. You got to then be able to take it to court. And all those things takes time, energy, and more money just to get back the money that you have. A hundred percent. Have you ever heard, you know, that the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Oh, I mean, man. that's literally our job. The, the more that we make our clients a priority, the better chance they're going to get paid before somebody else. And if your competitor is not as loud as maybe one of their competitors are with us, then we're going to get them paid before maybe you'll get paid because they have a team and the, the psychology of debt collection, knowing that, oh, this brand is taking their debt seriously yeah. because they hired Cannabis Collects to do the work for them. So now we're here right now, obviously, we're at the Cannabis Capital Conference. Right. We're in Chicago, it's one of the big money cities. What's your real goal for this for this show right now? What do you really hope to get out of this? First of all, you know, I, I really am working to become a thought leader around credit and collections in cannabis specifically. It's a topic that I think needs more attention and I think I need to, to work hard with people around me to educate what's going on here. I'm also launching the Cannabis Credit Association, which is the first and, and foremost, the, the better business bureau for the cannabis industry. Okay. So we're leveraging all this, this debt c data that we have in order to, to get members to sign up and, and have visibility around some of these bad actors in the space. Mm -hmm. So not only are we helping to collect money, but now we're helping to provide credit tools and credit services and solutions and insights for companies to finally be able to make better decisions in cannabis. And I think that's really the main goal here is to show that there are solutions that are being worked on to help the industry steer clear from the bad actors and, and work with the good ones. It, it's important to manage risk. Yes. It's important to analyze the data, whatever you can find, to be able to make smarter decisions. Now, for you guys, you know, again, RMR exclusive opportunity for you guys. 
what are you working on for the future right now? What's that? What's that tidbit of of, of excitement that you that you have? What's what's a little exclusive? The, for the, the people. The exclusive literally is what we're really presenting right now. at The show is the Cannabis Credit Association. Okay. You know, we're, we're, we've got we just launched a soft launch for founding members, and we're looking to blow this out of the water to to essentially be the next Dun and Bradstreet for the cannabis industry, and finally provide credit tools and solutions. So it's a sneak peek here because no one really has had visibility around this before until yeah. literally right now, and you're one of the first ones out of the booth. Woo! So we're excited to, to see where this goes. Come on, man. Very pumped to, to make it rain out here in this industry. What, you call it the Credit, <laughs> credit Collections Agency? Yeah, Cannabis Cannabis Credit Association. Cannabis Credit Association. Make sure you guys tap in Cannabis Collects. We're just out here trying to make it rain, man. They're just out here trying to help people trying to get it in, trying to help get money to the people. So make sure you guys come check out their booth. We're at booth 500. Well, guys, we'll see you guys in the next interview, okay? See ya. Brett Gelfin, Cannabis Collects. We'll see you guys down the road. Love Take you guys. Care.